This is Timber Hills. Well, it's the Timber Hills sign. This is Timber Lane. This is Timber. And this is the 10th anniversary Timber Pod from iFootage, which is a complete total coincidence and has no affiliation with me other than this review. Or does it? And it's a fantastic little tripod for vlogging, phones, microphones, and camera monitors. Just a quick disclaimer, even though iFootage sent me the Timber Pods for free, uh, for review, that does not mean it affected my decisions, comments, positive or negative, any of that. It didn't affect anything and I, they did not pay me to say positive things or negative things about their product. Continue. Probably the coolest thing obviously about these things is they are made of wood and metal. Like there's not hollow wood, this is solid and the metal is really sturdy. This one in particular is noticeably heavier and I'm not sure if it's because the metal is different. It feels like steel while this one feels like aluminum. So there's a, a weight difference and it's a little top heavy, but uh, that's the kind of thing you got to deal with when you know all the metal is up top here and then you got the metal ball here. So there's obviously a lot of weight there, but it's not actually heavy. This one's just heavier than this one. It's still a really light tripod, but if you are sick of little tripods that are plasticky, definitely check this out. It's really high quality. And this one in particular, I am going to use to display, I'll, I'll pop it up here. I'm going to use to display a vintage camera. And then this one will get the day-to-day -to -day use. And I uh, just want to thank iFootage. Um, I was supposed to be getting this one for review and he sent both of them. So I'm very grateful to have both of them, especially this one, because this is just a beautiful little tripod. And uh, I mean, I'm not being paid to say this. This is just high quality and very nice, nice to look at, nice to hold. So this one, the one that sort of looks like a, it's a maple, is Beechwood, and it's called the Beechwood and Silver, and it's $49. And this beauty is scented rosewood with oxidized bronze. So that explains, I just looked it up, that explains why it's heavier. And, you know, I did, I, I did notice as soon as I opened the box, it had a very woody smell. It, just smells really good and then your hands smell good but it's actually not oily at all so I don't know how they do it I guess it's just like kind of in the wood but this one is $2.99 so there's quite a price difference this is more of a collector's edition which is why I said I'm going to display it with a vintage camera because I really don't want it to get marred or scratched up or just no uh, signs of use I want it to stay in mint condition and then this one is the daily driver. And you can see that has the little removable silicone pads on so it doesn't slip across your desk or any other surface. It's really, really grippy material. Well, it's silicone. So you can angle these. Um, there's a little button on each leg to fully extend it so it lays flat. And that I would imagine is good for like a microphone because you know microphones are pretty heavy. Uh, and also like if you put a mirrorless or DSLR on it, you'll probably have better luck extending it completely and then tilting it up. Either way, you can hear it snap in place. And then there's like the medium. And then if you want, if it's not too heavy of an item, you can pretty much put them wherever you want. They're, they're pretty stiff, so you could, uh, you could just put it wherever you want and sit it there. But just keep in mind, you know, if it's a heavy item, don't be doing it like this. So when you compare it to some of the other options that we have for little like tabletop style tripods, it's definitely not flexible like this one. And it's definitely not like, you know, this is one sort of large for a tabletop tripod. It has its own place. In my mind, it's more compact 
You know, it doesn't take up a lot of room if you want to put it in your bag or even your back pocket uh, versus this where you kind of have to have a special place for it. Um, but I do love the switch pod. I love the heck out of the switch pod. But again, it's just another option. Um, it is wood. There's not a whole lot of tripods out there made out of real wood and metal. And, you know, like some of the plasticky parts of other tripods are very fragile. Uh, like I would never actually put a full size camera on this because the one time I tried with a little Lumix G7 around a tree branch and one of these popped right out. So, yeah, this is name brand stuff, folks. So this isn't going to pop right out. It's not going to wrap around a tree either, but I'm just saying. I almost forgot to mention they also come in these nice boxes. They are cardboard. It's not like they're wood or metal or anything like that, but uh, they are nice boxes and you can store them in there if you want to. As usual, the links for these guys will be down in the description of the video. Uh, thanks for watching. Please subscribe and tell your friends. And remember, create, share, repeat, and keep it awesome. I'll see you next time.